Welcome to our postcard from Swansea and Mumbles. Swansea, a city on the south coast of Wales, features the sweeping waterfront of Swansea Bay leading to Mumbles and onto the beautiful Gower Peninsula. Mumbles is home to handmade crafts, luxury boutiques and the famous Welsh Italian ice cream parlours. Well, there's a real nautical feel about Swansea so far. We've just left the Sainsbury's car park because it was summer free to park for a couple of hours. And it's down by the Maritime Quarter. And of what I would say, of course, Swansea is on the coast, but not everywhere that is by the sea actually feels that nautical. But this, this does, and maybe it's something to do with this fantastic bridge over there. What does that bridge remind you of? Look at the curvature of it. It's at a much smaller scale than one we visited earlier this summer. The Peace Bridge in Derry, of course. It's got a very similar sort of structure to it, don't you think? I think this would be an ideal place to have some boat races because I think it's kind of cordoned off over there and it seems like it might be possible but I'm not sure it is. I like this signpost from the National Cycle Network and it's got the names of various places around Wales. Not many of them I could pronounce and you probably wouldn't hear me in the wind anyway. But we're going to head down to the marina. Mind you don't fall in, Paul. Yes, there is no protective um, guardrail. No, a little bit like when we were in Kilkeel in County Down, although this is on a much larger scale. <laughs> well, Swansea is the second biggest city in Wales after the capital of Cardiff. And we've been to Swansea once before when we had a night out at one of the local pubs. But we've never come to the marina area in the past. But um, this has been the first time that we've been in Wales, I think, for two or three years, is it? I think it's more than that. Possibly more. And what I've noticed, uh, as soon as we cross the border, everything is in English and in Welsh. In fact, it's illegal that all signposts 
and all statutory notices are in both languages. In fact, there was a story recently about um, a lady who had received oh, a parking fine. A bill. And it yeah. wasn't in Welsh. It wasn't in Welsh and she was able to contest it in court. Mm. She so it. she didn't have to pay it, of course. Wow. Um, so I think that's pretty good. Does this bit connect to the other bit? I'm not sure, but hopefully it does because otherwise it's a long way over the other side. Oh yes, I just see what you mean. We might have to walk the long way around. I don't want to do that. But look, there's a couple of boaties coming in. And look, there is a wind turbine. Oh yes, well it's spinning around quite fast <laughs> today. And it's quite windy here today. It is, but it's actually not that cold. It's um, less than sunny. The sun is shining, it's about 22 degrees Celsius, but it's just the wind is up a little bit. Lots of very old nautical features around here. You'll have seen earlier on, um, we had sort of like smaller versions of them pictured and uh, that was outside the Sainsbury's. So there's a great history of um, nautical boats, marina, maritime. maritime around this area. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is an interesting little area. There's a boat down there. It almost looks as though it's like a car park for boats, a boat park. Well, I guess that's what a marina is, but this bit looks slightly different from the main piece of the marina. There's no way across to the other side, unless you venture down onto the sort of uh, cuts down here. I wouldn't recommend it. But it is very picturesque. Look at this boat coming in. I think these were the two that we saw before. They're going to dock. Oh, that's quite a maneuver. Throw your rope over, dear. That's it. There she goes. Oh, no, missed. There you go. Got it second time. And what's this little tug coming in as well? Oh, look, Marcus, you really can cross, but I think it's once the boats and the sailings have come through. Well, that's as far as we can go for part one of the show. Yes, yes. And it's a little bit windy as well. So have a listen to these and we'll see you in a mo at Mumbles. I smell something fishy. You're not subscribing to our show, but it's easy. Just hit the subscribe button. It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Taking time to reflect, Paul? Yes, I certainly am. And I think that a good way to reflect your dedication and appreciation for our YouTube channel is to subscribe. Thank you very much in advance.
and welcome to a windy mumbles. Now it's been quite a journey getting here. There has been an event on in Swansea while we were here and most of the main roads out of the city towards Mumbles are closed. So blocked off. all blocked off. Um, so we basically followed our noses and somehow we managed to get here, but a bit later than what we expected. But still, <laughs> the sun has not quite gone down and it's quite nice, a little bit windy. Um, but we do have a complaint. And it's, Parking. it's towards Swansea Council. What on earth are you playing at? Your machines are rubbish at the car park. We tried to use it like several times using a credit card and each time it just, it failed, it just timed out. It's uh, cancelled? And cancelled one time, even after we put in all our information. And we only had enough money for one hour. And the irony in all of this is that if we'd arrived 20 minutes later, um, one hour would have taken us beyond the cut-off period for the day. So as it is, we're trying to rush everything now. So you've lost out Swansea, Swansea Council. Take note, Mumbles has lost out on sales of probably food and super Drink, shopping maybe. and everything else. We're only just probably going to have time for an ice cream unless we can manage to park somewhere else. So not good at all. But of course Mumbles is famous for its ice cream and we are going to get one now because we want to do something here at least. <laughs> So what have you got, Paul? Chocolate. And give it a go, what's it like? Yeah, it's quite good. How about yours? Well, what I'll say is you like to lick it. I like to bite into it. That's how I grew up eating it. I really couldn't make up my mind and I thought, well, I always get vanilla, so it should really be something else. So I've gone for salted caramel. Let's give this a go. Mmm! Well, this is rather good, actually. I'm quite surprised. I no, so. Well, I thought it was going to be, like, super sweet. Is it not? Not over here. It actually tastes like... almost like a vanilla. With a little bit of caramel in it, rather than salted caramel. Do you not taste any salt? I suppose I do, a little bit. But this is quite good. I really like this chocolate. I I haven't had chocolate for some time, so this isn't that bad. So Marcus, how does this compare to Morelli's? Well, it's completely different. I don't think you can compare it. Because I think, isn't this like a real sort of Italian scoop ice cream? Whereas Morelli's is Italian as well, but it's soft serve. So this is a completely different sort of kettle of fish, if you like. So, so would you say this is comparing apples and oranges? It is. And the local bikers, they're in town tonight. And it looks as though that they're revving up and they're just about to go. I wonder, do they ever have to pay to park? So what do you think of Mumbo's. Yes, it's nice. I like the different coloured houses, the nice sort of promenade, if you like. Um, but I can't get it out of my head about the car park, you know. <laughs> and that's what, unfortunately, I'm going to remember about it most. Oh, the ice gosh. cream was nice. Yes, I'll give it that. And Verdi's, I guess, is one of the traditional Italian mm -hmm. parlours, ice cream parlours in Mumbles. This is the South End stop. Swansea Bay Rider. Trains run approximately every hour. But where are the train tracks? But it looks like the train's not running from here anymore, Paul. No. So due to Promenade Works, this stop is no longer on the land train route and will no and will not be in use until further notes. Trains now run from Blackpool to 
oyster melon. Sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. Interesting that it's in South End though, isn't it? I thought this was Swansea. Me too. <laughs> You know what? Mm -hmm. I think I am going to miss this promenade in the cold winter months coming soon. Well, you can just smell the sea. Uh, uh, it's, it's lovely. I think it must be a mixture of the seaweed and the shingle. There's no <laughs> sandy here, but I thought there was supposed to be a sandy beach somewhere. I don't know. Was there supposed to be? Well, maybe I'm just imagining things, or it could be fur further along. Um, the drive, which we didn't do. What's that sticking out of that roof over there? It's a chimney, no? That's not a chimney. But it's all like crooked. We've arrived at another car park. This is not the one that we are in, but it is the same kind of <laughs> setup exactly. It's this machine. You see, look at this. First of all, you've got to select your language with the little flag. It brings it into English. Now, it's okay if you've got coins, but we didn't have enough change. So this thing did not work. This thing did not work. And even some of this. And didn't work. yeah, even some of these buttons were like really hard to press. It's just they kept timing out. I just don't understand it. Why are so many councils insistent in bringing in these type of machines even worse ones that you can just use with your phone what happened to the traditional kind of pay and display machine where you didn't even have to put in your registration number are they that worried about fraud that someone's going to hand over a ticket for goodness sake this is just ridiculous we need to get back to basics look at this it says problem with card reader please use machine in next part of car park you see even the council must realize that the machines are absolutely sh Look at this sunset. It's not sunset yet. No, it's it's like early summer sunshine when we're recording this. By it's the time you're watching it, it'll be autumn probably. Uh, it is 8.15 in the evening and it's still nice and sunny. Well, they've come further down into the town now, away from all the car parks. And there's these lovely little cafes and bars down here. There's also um, a playground area for kids, which we're not going to show you. Um, but it's got like a nice sort of little village feel to it, mm. doesn't it, Paul? Mm. Very, very quaint. Well, we've just got about enough time to get a Chinese and take it back to the hotel. That's the end of this postcard. We'll see you on our next episode. Bye bye.